गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फिफ्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन हु इज द फर्स्ट एशियन मैन टू बी नॉमिनेटेड फॉर इंटरनेशनल टेनिस हॉल ऑफ फेम सो मल्टीपल ग्रैंड स्लैम विनर लीडर पेस इमर्ज एज द फर्स्ट एशियन मैन टू बी नॉमिनेटेड फॉर द इंटरनेशनल tennis hall of fame in the player category and he was one of the six nominees announced for the class of 2024 and he will be competing with Kara Black Anna Ivanovic Carlos Moya Daniel Nestor and Flavia Panetta in the player category so Lena who is the chinese player became the first asian player to get nominated to the international tennis hall of fame in the year 2019 okay simply you have to remember that linder pace is the first asian to be nominated for international tennis hall of fame now let's see some of the important awards and honors dada sai phalke lifetime achievement award was recently conferred to which actor so veteran bollywood actress wahida rehman has been conferred with the dada sai phalke award which is given for outstanding contribution to the growth and development of indian cinema for the year 2021 and it was conferred by the union ministry of information and broadcasting directorate of film festival and this award is presented at the national film awards ceremony and the 2021 awards were presented this year because they were delayed due to covid-19 pandemic okay so recently that the sahib phalke lifetime achievement award has been conferred to wahida rehman Swati Naik who was in the news recently has won which award so recently she had won the Norman E Borlaug award and with this she is the third indian to win this award what is the new award instituted to honor the scientist in india it is rashtriya vigyan puraskar which state chief minister has been awarded the lee kuan yu exchange fellowship it is assam state who is the current chief minister of assam mr hemant biswa sharma and he has been awarded with the lee kuan yu exchange fellowship which institution announced special awards to the artist who are above 75 years of age this award is sangeet natak academy award okay and the two conditions for this award are the first one is that person should be above 75 years of age and second criteria is he or she should not have received any national award till now okay next question is which institution has been recently selected by pfrda as the 11th fund manager to manage the retirement savings under nps so the pension fund regulatory and development authority has selected the dsp pension fund managers as the 11th fund manager to manage the retirement savings under the national pension system so now it is looking to tap regional rural banks that is rrbs to enhance its reach to the citizens across the country okay correct answer would be dsp pension fund managers now let's have a look at some of the important institutions that were in news these days which institution released the report titled as methane emissions in livestock and rice system this was the report from food and agriculture organization this is a united nation body and headquarter lies in rome italy which institution released the gender gaps in agriculture productivity and public spending in nigeria report this was the report from world bank and as per the report the nigerian economy can earn an additional 8.1 million dollars each year if it closes gender gaps in the agriculture sector okay which institution organizes which institution organizes the south south knowledge sharing series so this is world bank and this is a virtual conference which is organized by the world bank the theme of this event is digital public infrastructure the india story okay so union minister of state for electronics and it mr rajiv chandra shekhar participated in the virtual conference and he highlighted some key elements of india's dpi ecosystem like aadhar which facilitates access to the government 
वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम्स एंड यू पी आई विच इज अ फिनटेक लेयर दैट इन्हांस इज द फिनेंशियल इंक्लूजन ओके करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी वर्ल्ड बैंक विच इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज रेज मोर देन वन थाउजेंड क्रोर रुपीज वाया द सोशल बॉन्ड्स दिस इज नाबार्ड फुल फॉर्म इज नेशनल बैंक फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट रिसेंटली इट इशूड इट्स फर्स्ट रूपी डिनोमिनेटेड ट्रिपल ए रेटेड सोशल बॉन्ड्स विद अ टोटल साइज ऑफ वन थाउजेंड फोर्टी पॉइंट फाइव क्रोर रुपीज एंड द बॉन्ड्स फॉर इशूड प्राइवेटली सो एज टू एलिजिबल द इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स सो दैट दे कैन बी लिस्टेड ऑन द बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड द फेस वैल्यू and the base issue size is 1000 crore rupees with an option to retain over subscription up to 2000 crore rupees okay correct answer would be nabard next is which state is associated with the mukhya mantri gramin awas nyay yojana so chatisgarh government has revealed the plans to provide homes to more than 47000 impoverished individuals in the rural areas as a part of initial stage of mukhya mantri gram awas nyay yojana and this initiative follows the failure to implement the pradhan mantri awas yojana in 2021 as chatisgarh government could not contribute its required share of funds okay so correct answer would be chatisgarh state government now let's see some of the important states that were in news which state is the host of pitra paksh mela event we will discuss this question in a detailed manner in the later half of the video here answer would be bihar which state has signed 2000 crore rupees deal with ropeway construction company poma group in london so recently the uttarakhand government has signed a memorandum of understanding in london with the ropeway construction company that is poma group and the state secured investments valued at 2000 crore rupees as a part of its upcoming global investors summit which is scheduled for december month and poma group is associated with the state in projects including their current involvement in providing the technical support for the dehradun to masuri ropeway and yamunotri ropeway projects okay which state has devised an action plan to curb paddy straw burning this is punjab and as per the punjab's action plan to curb paddy straw burning nearly 31 lakh hectares of land in the region are dedicated to paddy cultivation and this is anticipated to yield nearly 16 million tons of paddy straw which will be effectively handled through both in situ techniques as well as ex situ methods means utilizing the stubble as a source of fuel okay here answer would be punjab which state launched a dedicated tourism policy 2023 and aims to attract 20000 crore rupees investment in the next 5 years This is Tamil Nadu government. Tamil Nadu government has unveiled its new tourism policy to develop the state into the most attractive experiential destination in Asia. And over the next five years, the state aims to attract twenty thousand crore rupees investment and to facilitate the skill development of three lakh people. So, in the next five years, the state expects the tourism to contribute at least twelve percent of the state. GSDP annually in tourism and supporting the industries in the state to employ 25 lakh people okay correct answer would be tamil nadu sipla launched drone based deliveries of its critical medicines for hospitals in which indian state so sipla is a drug maker and presently it has launched the drone based deliveries of its critical medicines for the hospitals in the state of himachal pradesh in partnership with the sky air mobility So these medicines include cardiac, respiratory and other essential chronic therapies and the use of the drones will support on time delivery of the company's medicines to the chemist and clinics in the remote areas while minimizing the risk including temperature linked issues affecting cold chain product okay so sipla has launched the drone based deliveries of its critical medicines for the hospitals in the state of himachal pradesh next is which is the first cricket team to score more than 300 runs in a t20i so this is nepal nepal recently become the first team to score more than 300 runs in a t20i when it posted a total of 314 against mongolia at the asian games in china and nepal's 
कुशल मल्ला स्कोर्ड 137 नॉट आउट ऑफ 50 बॉल्स इंक्लूडिंग 12 सिक्सेस एंड 8 फोर्स वाइल दीपेंद्र सिंह ब्लास्टेड 8 सिक्सेस इन 10 बॉल्स टोटल एंड इन हिज अनबीटन 52 ऑन द वे टू रिकॉर्डिंग द फास्टेस्ट 50 इन द फॉर्मेट एंड विद दिस ही ब्रोक युवराज सिंह रिकॉर्ड ओके सो यर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी नेपाल कंट्री लेट्स ई सम स्पोर्ट रिलेटेड करेंट अफेयर्स Which country clinched the Asia Cup 2023 title in cricket? Here answer is India. India has won this title by defeating the country Sri Lanka. Which cricketer surpassed Sachin Tendulkar to become the opener with most number of centuries? This is David Warner. And you have to tell me David Warner belongs to which country? Which country's cricket board announced to equalize women's match fees with the men's team? This is England. Who became the fastest Indian cricketer to clinch 50 wickets in T20 internationals? This is Kuldeep Yadav. Okay. Which Indian becomes fifth highest run scorer in international cricket after surpassing South Africa's Jacques Kal? This is very famous Virat Kohli. So this is Chinese vessel, and recently it entered the Indian Ocean via the Malacca Strait on 23rd of September. and it was seen in singapore on 14th of september after leaving the home port guangzhou on 10th of september okay so as per the sri lanka it has not given permission to the chinese vessel shi yan 6 as indian security concerns were important to the island nation and the country said that if the vessel complied with the standard operating procedures of sri lanka then there would be no problem so it is a research vessel of the country china let's see some of the important international current affairs as per a new report made along with niti aayog which state had the highest electricity demand in the country in july 2023 so this is uttar pradesh hs748 avro transport aircraft was a legacy aircraft used by which country it was used by our country india India and which other country is set to kick start a two week war game in Alaska answer would be USA and which country introduced the global biofuel alliance it is the initiative of our country India okay next is neha thakur who secured a silver medal for india at the asian games plays which sport so she is just 17 years old and she is indian sailor recently she secured a silver medal in the I L C A four dinghy event for the girls in Asian Games in China, and uh, this category consists of eleven races, and she finished with total thirty two total points, and her net score of twenty seven helped her to earn the second spot behind the gold medalist Nopa Soren, who is from the country Thailand. Okay, so here correct answer would be so sailing. She is associated with sailing. Let's see some sport related current affairs. Sudipti Hajela, Divya Kriti Singh, Haridey, Hriday Chheda and Anush Agarwal are associated with which sport? So all of these persons are associated with equestrian and these four riders and their horses recently clinched India's first ever gold medal for India in this equestrian dressage. Actually equestrian first made its appearance at the Asian Games in 1982 and the host India dominated the competition with three gold medals after 41 days Indian team clinched a medal recently okay so they are associated with equestrian Divyansh Pawar Rudraksh Patil and Aishwarya Pratap Singh Tomar who were in the news recently play which sport they are associated with shooting Antim Pangal who was seen in the news play which sport he is a wrestler so he is associated with wrestling national welfare fund for sports person is named after which leader answer would be pandit deen dayal upadhyay ila vanil valarivan who was seen in the news play which sport he is a shooter and you have to tell me from which country he belong to next is the ro dtep support scheme initially set to expire on 30th of september 2023 has been extended till which date so this support scheme which was initially set to expire on 30th of september will now be extended until 30th of june 
maintaining the current rates for existing export product okay and this extension aims to empower the exporting sector in negotiating more favorable export agreements amid the current global condition okay here correct answer would be 30th of june 2024 that is option number c let's see some of the important current affairs amit khare whose tenure has been extended was holding which position so he is an advisor to prime minister narendra modi and recently his tenure has been extended which state has extended the social security to transgender community through universal pension scheme this is jharkhand state which union ministry extended the deadline for enabling aadhar based payment for mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act workers this is ministry of rural development digital health incentive scheme of tayushman bharat digital mission has been extended until what date so this scheme has been extended till december 2023 The Smart Cities Mission has been extended from June 2023 to which year now? Answer would be 2024. Okay. Next is Minister for Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairying inaugurated the renovated Marine Museum at which particular city? So, Minister for Fisheries, Animal Husbandry, and Dairying, Mr. Pushottam Rupala, recently inaugurated the newly renovated Marine Museum at Fishery Survey of India in Vishakhapatnam. and it displays more than 250 preserved specimen and all the specimens in the museum were displayed with modern technology such as qr coding in which complete information could be obtained with just one click by science students researchers and general public okay here answer would be vishaka patnam let's see some of the important museum related current affairs where is the culture corridor g20 digital museum located so it lies in new delhi the foundation stone for iconic site museum was laid in which indian state it was recently laid in tamil nadu state lobri museum which was seen in the news is located in which country it lies in france what is the new name of the nehru memorial museum and library society answer would be prime minister's museum and library okay when is the international museum day celebrated we celebrate this day every year on 18th of may okay next is scientists at iiscr have been pointed a circular rna virus known as question mark so scientists at indian institute of science education and research in bhopal have been pointed a circular rna virus that is known as ctran the function of which in hiv one virus replication has been a mystery also they have created a molecule which is capable of impeding viral transcription and circular rna is crucial for gene expression regulation and various type of biological functions and its impact on hiv replication remains largely unexplored as explained by the researcher right so here answer would be c tran and now the last question says which state is the host of pitrpaksh mela event actually in the state of bihar the world famous pitrpaksh mela began in gaya and the main function was organized at vishnu pad temple okay lakhs of people from across the country and abroad reach here to offer the prayers for departed souls on the banks of falgu river fine so here answer would be bihar and talking about some host related current affairs Which country is the host of the 19th edition of Exercise Yuddha Abhyas 2023? This is the exercise between India and USA, and this year the venue is also USA. Which country is set to host the Artificial Intelligence Safety Summit? Answer would be UK. Which Indian city is the host of Windergy India 2023 Summit? This is Chennai. Which city hosted the Sustainable Development Goals Summit in September 2023? Answer would be New York. And talking about Chennai, don't forget that. Recently a new report has revealed that the harsh shell turtles from India are traded across a more extensive global network compared to the soft shell turtles and Chennai emerged as the most central node in turtles trafficking and it ranked as the top exporting and intermediary district okay answer would be Chennai So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions 
and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off